In this video, we're going to talk about grouping and sorting and filtering your data to get different kind of information from your pivot table. Uh, so let's first talk about filtering. If you notice, over here in cell A4, where it says destination, we have a pull down. And from there, we'll be able to pick and choose which rows that you want to see. So I'm going to uncheck it where it says select all. Then you can pick and choose as many as you wanted to. So let's say we'll pick on New York, Boston, Chicago, Dallas, and Fargo. And when I click on OK, notice how it's just those that are showing, and it, sh and it changes the subtitles for you as well. So very quickly, you can pick and choose which rows you want to see. So I want to click on that pull down next to destination again, uh, and then uh, we'll pick on um, we'll pick on select all. Then of course you can pick and choose which ones you want to see from there. When I click on OK here, they should all come back as we can see. Now we can also do the same thing with the column headings. So I'm going to click on this pull down where it says airline. And then uh, I'll pick on, uh, I'll uncheck it where it says select all. Let's say I just wanted to see American and Delta. And when I click on OK, that's exactly what's being shown. And then of course the subtotals change there as well. So we can do the filters on the row headings and also on the column headings. I'm going to click on that pull down again, and let's go back to select all, and then click on OK. Uh, so that would work anytime that you have uh, your column headings, your row headings, even if you had more than one, uh, like we demonstrated in uh, another video of this series. Now, let's talk about sorting. I'd like to see who had the best total for American. So you pick on one number on the American uh, uh, column. Then in this case, uh, the sort can either be found under the data menu as always, or it can also be found under the options menu. Uh, so I'm going to pick on, let's say the Z to A, so it'll, the higher ones will be up top. And you can see now that New York had the best total for American going down from there. Who had the best total for the grand total overall? I'll, I'll click on one number on the grand total column and I'll pick on Z to A. And then New York had the best overall total as well going down from there. Uh, let's put it back to being in alphabetical order. So I'll click on one of the cities and pick on A to Z this time. All right. So uh, you can see how things are working like that. Now, a pivot table, as far as I know, is the only place we can also sort across. I want to put them not in alphabetical order by airline, but in how New York performed uh, by airline. So I'm going to pick on one number on the New York row. And then what you do is you pick on the options menu and you pick on the word sort. Now, notice over here it says left to right. As far as I know, the pivot table is the only place you can do that. So I'll click on OK. See, their, their least uh, airline was Delta, and their best airline was Southwest. So it's not in alphabetical order anymore. It's by how they did by airline. Uh, let's do it for the Dallas row. Just pick one number on the Dallas row. Pick on the word sort. Make sure it says left to right there, and then click on OK. Dallas had their least airline with American and their best uh, airline with United. So you can see how uh, nicely it is to sort. Let's put it back to being um, by how they did with American. So we'll pick on uh, sort again, or just the Z to A. And you can see we can even go lowest to highest like that as well. All right. So that's the sort and then the filter I showed you as well. Let me show you the group feature. Uh, let's say if you've been watching the news lately here in the United States, then uh, you're, you're seeing that American and U.S. Air really want to merge together in real life. So I, I like to group those together. I'm going to pick on the word American. I'm going to hold down my control key on my keyboard, and I'll pick on U.S. Air so that they're both selective. So you pick as many as you wanted to uh, by holding down the control key. Then I'm going to right-click on U.S. Air, and we'll pick on something that's called group. Now, you have to watch closely to see what this did. See how it made group one out of American and U.S. Air, and the other ones have their own individual groups. What does that really mean? Well, I can see American and U.S. Air separately, but if I hit the minus sign to minimize group one, then it combined those together. So now I can see what they look like together. So that's pretty interesting. I made my own groups. Uh, I'm going to uh, expand that again. Here's American and U.S. Air individually. And then if I minimize the group, then I can see what they look like together. Now I'm going to ungroup that. I'm going to right click on group one and then say ungroup. You can do the same thing with the row heading. So let's say I want to pick uh, New York, Boston, Dallas, 
and, um, and uh, let's say London. So again, I held down my control key and picked the ones I wanted to. I'm going to right click on New York. I'm going to pick on group. Now notice how group one contains all four of those and the other ones have the individual groups. But then if I minimize group one, then I can see what they would look like together. You see how I added those numbers uh, together. Then I can maximize that again. All right, so you can group anything you wanted to in, in this way. I'm going to right click on group one and then I'll say ungroup to get rid of that. Now, let me show you a really special thing that you can do with groups. Instead of the airline field in the column label, I'm going to have a date field. So I want to pick up the airline from the column label, move it back to the uh, fields. Now I'll pick up the date field and move it back into the column label. When you're using a date field, you can see at first it shows you by individual day. But what if you wanted it by month or by quarter or by year? I'm going to right click on the first date. Then I'm going to pick on group. Now with the dates, the groups are already built in. Now, first of all, you can do it with a specific date range over here. Now, if it were a time field, we can do it by second, minute, or hour. But since it's a date field, I can do it by day, month, quarter, or year. Month is already chosen for you. I'll click on OK. And just like that, now we have it summarized by month. So this is what this is showing you. Here's sheet one. Sheet one has all the individual transactions. This is where the data is. But sheet eight now has it summarized by destination by month because of the group. Watch that one again. I'm going to right click on Jan. Not on Marsha, but on Jan. Haha. <laughs> but I'll pick on group. Now I can pick more than one of these. So I'm going to pick on month and year and then click on OK. Notice how it gave us the year and then the month. Now notice how some of the years are missing. Like where's 2004, 2005 or some of those other years? Well, it's only going to show you the years that you actually have data for. So I must not have, I must not have any data for 2004 or some of those missing years. So it's only going to show you the ones that you actually have. Now when I do it that way, I'd also like to see the annual total as well. So I'm going to right click on 1999 and we'll pick on, um, we'll pick on subtotal years. And then notice how you have the annual total as well. Look at this report that we generated because of the group. Uh, so what we did was we right clicked in the original date that was here. We picked on group. Then I picked on month and year there. Then when we had the year, I right clicked on the year so I could say subtotal years like that. And look at this great report. Uh, so in this video, we covered uh, sorting, which can be found under the, um, the options menu. We, we talked about filtering, which are these pull downs either on the row headings or even on the column headings, as we can see. And then we talked about grouping. You can make up your own groups. Here, I'll do it again. I'll pick on Chicago. I'm going to hold down my control key and pick on Houston and London. I know that Houston's misspelled there, sorry about that. I'm going to right click on that and then pick on group. And now those are grouped together, as we can see. And then you can uh, lump them together with that group. Uh, if I want to take the group away, I can ungroup it. And then when we group by the dates, we even could do it by month, quarter, or by year. Uh, so I think that's an outstanding way to get more results from your data using sorts and filters and groups.